Hey, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Uh, wait, let me see what's happening. Oh, speaker phone, maybe. Yeah. All right, we figured it out. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. How y'all doing today? You're, you're getting a call from McDowell FCI, the Federal Correction Institute. This is Daryl Neely here, and I want to say I stand with my vigil that stands out in front of D.C. jail every night of the week. Rain, sleet, hell, or snow. These ladies and gentlemen are the true patriots, and I want oh. others to be able to join y'all. All right, thank you so much for calling. Hey, and I want you to know that I, I love y'all to death. I thank you so very much for being strong, upstanding men and women. And you know something? I was actually watching the news, and I was very impressed that um, those people for anti-war, the anti-war activists, went up into the DNC office, and they held it down like we did at the Capitol. And I was very proud of them because, you know, we they, they wanted to do what we did. They wanted their right to protest their grievances. And that's what we January sisters did, protest our grievances, stood strong, communicated nicely. But, you know, it was D.C. Metropolitan Police that wanted to, you know, fire rubber bullets, uh, hit people over the head. And I want people to understand once again, four of our wonderful patriots and protesters died. Not one single, single officer died that day. Let the news media, get the news media to admit that. That will go halfway with me right now. And I'm sick and tired of our representatives taking our federal tax money and not asking us, hey, what should I do with this? Should I go for this amendment? Should we send money to this country? We got issues here in our own country, thanks to Joe Biden and his uh, mobilized force. Um, we got issues right here in this country that need to be reckoned with. We got a decaying system that needs to, but hey, we got a shimmer of hope. We got Donald Drake Trump coming back into office and you know, a lot of people in here, especially in this McDowell federal prison system where I'm at, you know, the Federal Correctional Institute, uh, they love Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden's um, butt on the wall. Um, basically, that's what they want. They want, they love him to death. They want him on the wall. Um, they, they despise him. Let's be honest, they despise him totally. They love Donald Trump. Um, I got two guys behind me that are just rooting and tooting because they actually are like proud that I'm actually calling in. I got took the opportunity to do it tonight because I, I just felt that this nation needed another voice. And we are giving in that voice. All the January sisters are giving that voice. And by the way, everybody out there, McDowell, FCI is a January 6th safe zone. January sisters are looked up to, respected, and we actually have it pretty good here. Everybody has that pretty good, but we have it pretty good here. We're not discriminated against, nor scrutinized or pushed into a corner. So, of course, it's West Virginia. Why you? Why not? But um, I want you ladies and gentlemen, everyone listening, to recognize that we are still have a fight. We have a fight that we got to win. We have no choice in this matter. We got to make sure Donald J. Trump is back president of the United States sitting in the office, the Oval Office. We need to get the word out. And also I want everyone to find time to support the drive for Toys for the Kids and the, the January 6th Family Fund where they help the families out. Please, everyone, get together. Get Go around your neighborhood and start collecting. I mean, we got people right now, us inmates in federal prison, Federal prison, think about that. Uh, federal prison and our families are sitting at home. Some of them are barely making it. And they got guys there with children sitting right here in prison. Their wives, their loved ones taking care of babies. Grandma's taking care of some children because both the husband and the wife are in federal prison. People, stand up. Help us. You know the fun. Mickey will tell you who to um, direct it towards. Just help 
the January 6th families because these children need a good Christmas too and a Thanksgiving. Ladies, I, I love y'all to death. Gentlemen, I love y'all to death. I want to thank everyone out there, especially my girl Heather. I mean, she's been instrumental in keeping me up. And I want y'all to know that there is a place for January 6th, our activity in this world, and it's called setting the record straight. And that is what we're looking forward to. We want the truth, we want clarity, and we want the record. All right, Patriot, thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you all right, stay this call strong. Was from a federal prison. We know <laughs> Okay, so he's talking about the Patriot Mail Project uh, Christmas Family Fund. And, uh, you know, I've got on here and talked about it before. It is an amazing fund. Uh, Marie, uh, she works tirelessly on it. Uh, and Paula does also. And I know those funds go directly to those kids. If, you're, if you sign your child up uh, to receive funds, they will distribute those funds to your kids for Christmas. So... Um, I encourage everybody to go there and look and see. There's also a drawing for one of Marie's paintings. Um, if you uh, sign up and you donate, uh, that's Patriot Mail Project. And when you also go there, you know, because Christmas is coming up and the holidays are tough for everyone, really. And in this situation, it, it, it's just, it, it, it's a struggle. And, uh, you know, so sending a note or a card or something you can't really send cards to a lot of places but sending a note uh you know just go and make sure that you look and see that uh make sure there are no updates because they do move people around quite a bit so uh patriot mail project please go and visit it i loved hearing from uh daryl neely right and uh so, West Virginia. In West Virginia. So uh, glad that he called in. We loved hearing from uh, all the guys and gals from other facilities also. So, Oh, right, right, right. So American Patriot Relief also, APR, uh, that is uh, Mark and Jalise Middleton. And they are amazing patriots. They are Jan Sixers. They are all... <laughs> they are set to go to trial in February, I believe. Um, so they have a, a foundation, American Patriot Relief, and they have an initiative on there where you can go and adopt a Jan Sixer. So, uh, you know, I think that's a really great idea also. Um, so please go and check those out. Those sites are also at for Ashley, for the number four, A-S-H-L-I. So, all right, guys. <laughs> 